In today's video, we are going to design a simple yet beautiful birthday flyer like this in Photoshop right here, right now. So let's get started. As we always do, click on new file or you go for file, new, and then you set your dimensions. So I'm going to set it in your inches and then to eight inches for the width and the height to eight inches. And then the resolution I'm going to set to 100, and that is 300. And then everything remains the same. Click on create. Okay. And then let's click on the padlock like this. And then the FX color overlay. And then let's click on the color like this. Let me come to my test area to copy this color. This color code. Control C to copy. Then Control V to paste click on ok ok again let's close this one and then we need another shape on it so we pick up the pen tool and then we make sure this place has been set to shape and then we start creating like this we start from here and then we end all the way here okay something like this is cool but we can do something different so control minus minus to see what we are doing very well just make another sh um, some rough shape yeah we just need a diagonal shape over there that's good so you click on the move tool and then you change the color so first for us to change the color let's come back to the pen tool and then change it from here let's remove the stroke and then the color let's choose this one here let me come to my test area and copy this color code Control c to copy and then Control v to paste great then select the move to like this let's shift this shape forward a little bit okay i think it's okay let's move on to the test that's the happy birthday listen but before then let's group this one double click and then name it background so bg for background that's great so you pick up the test tool you can just press on t on the keyboard for the test tool and then you click on it right let me just copy it from my test area Copy the happy control C and then control V to paste. Let me zoom in to see what I'm doing very well. Or let me just increase the size of the font. Though I'm not going to use this color, but I just want to know what I'm writing. Let's change the um let's the, the font to style script. Style scripts like this. And then we are going to change the entire color by using a gradient for the um new color so we click on the fx here and then to gradient overlay and yeah this is a gradient i'm going to use so you can copy the, the same settings and these are the color codes this one here you can copy it from here okay and then the other one too is here you can also copy it from here okay 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 again and then there you go click on the move to and then you position it very well here I think it's too big let me make it 72 okay 72 is cool and then let me write the birthday itself so we pick up the test tool t for the test tool then you click on any area then you paste the birthday so i'll copy it from here Control c to copy and Control v to paste and tell the keyboard and i'm going to change the font from style script to balo condense and for the value condense, I'm going to use the bolder version. Yeah, bolder width of it. That's great. But I'm going to use this color. So I'll do the same. Go to FX, color overlay. And then, oh, sorry, gradient overlay rather. And then um, I'm going to stick with this gradient. But I'm going to add a little bit more details to the birthday so we on this bevel and embossment and let me open it for you you can copy these settings and then i'll add a, an outer glow and for the outer glow let me open it you can copy these settings as well okay and then you hit on okay and let's close this one but i want to create a 3d like test so i'll copy this birthday control j to copy and then i'll select the lower part and shift it slightly slightly like so i think this one is cool 
and so we select all of them and we ink and i increase the size a little bit okay this one i, I think okay for me so i'll push it upwards a little bit and i'm happy to upwards a little bit let me push the bed the upwards a little bit that great so i will select everything and then Control J on the keyboard to group. Double click on the um, group and then name it Happy Birthday. Enter on the keyboard, that's great. So let's open this one and then let's shift the happy upwards a little bit. Okay, so let's close the group like this and then we are going to head over to the main image. So for the image, we need some rectangle. So right click on the rectangle to and then select the rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle like this like this is cool let's remove the stroke that's great and then let's um, make sure the move tool is selected and let's press and hold on alt on the keyboard and let's um, click and drag like so because of the spacing i'm going to use my control keys on my keyboard to adjust so that it will be easy for me to control the spacing yeah so we press on ctrl j again on the keyboard to copy this this shape yeah this rectangle and i will shift it here as you can see yeah shift it here like so okay i think it's okay you can take your time and do it perfectly okay so you select all of them to select all of them let me say you select one like this press and hold on control and you click on the others for them to be selected or if there are many you click on the first one and then you come to the last one and you press and hold on shift on a keyboard to click on it like this and then everything in between to the last part will be selected that's great so now we have selected all of them and then we press on control j on a keyboard to duplicate the whole thing and then we hold on shift to adjust this one that as we bring it here and we use the arrow keys to close up like this and then we select everything let's close up the more so we select everything control select control control and you click you, you press and hold on control on the keyboard then you click on it for it to select it as i showed you earlier and then since all is selected we come up here make sure that the move tool is selected and then come up here and click on this icon over here clicking on that icon will ensure that the spacing in between them horizontally are the same that's great select all of them together with the first one and then you right click on it merge shapes that's great and then ctrl t to select it and then you, as you press and hold on shift on the keyboard you rotate it yeah 45 degrees is okay click on the check mark and i think this shape is a little bit good yeah if it is not good you alter it along the way so like this having it like this then we go to file place embedded port one of the images that we're going to use so this image is an actor in ghana here is doing very great job check the video description for the link to their youtube channel where you can find their latest series called in love with my ex this series is very nice you can check it out okay so for the image i'll reduce the size from also ctrl t to select it and then i will just transform it a little bit that's great okay we keep it like this and then we head over to the name so let's do this one and then let's call it image and turn on the keyboard and for the name we need some small rectangle here just want to share something yeah that's great so we remove the stroke and add this color that's great we rotate it 90 degrees either anti-clockwise or clockwise it's the same 90 degrees and then for the name you select the text tool like this and then you come and copy the name 
So me, I'm copying it from here. If you have the name in your head, you can just type it. I mean, I like copying and pasting. So I take my time and type everything. And then I will just be copying and pasting to make my work faster. So control V on the keyboard to paste. And I'm going to change the font to Barrow Condense. And then for the Barrow Condense, I'm going to use the bolder version. So the bold version and the size, I'm going to reduce it to around 80. Yeah. 18 is too small, so I'm gonna do um, take this. That is this. That is this. That is this. That is this. Okay, that is this. Okay, let me bring this bang on backwards. Backwards, like so. But that is this is too much, so I'm gonna reduce it to 30. Okay, I think 30 is okay. 30 is great. Okay. Let me select all of them and then make sure that they are um, horizontally aligned. So I want to do something here. Let me do Control Plus Plus to zoom in. To show you something. I want to select some part of the uh, test, the name, and then give it different color. Let me show you what I mean by that. So right click on it and then rasterize type. Select any of the selection tools. So me, I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Okay. Then head over to this place, uh, select some part of the test like this. Double click to meet it. And then you right click on it and then layer via cut. You have a new layer here. So we go to FX, color overlay, and then change the color to this. And then OK, OK again. This is what I was trying to make. That's great. In case you don't know, this is how we do it okay and then that is um i think you're okay with the name let's put this one closer to the name that's great and then for the next one is the date so the date i'm going to copy it from here Control c the copy and then pick up the test tool t for the test tool and then Control v paste for now i'm going to separate them Control x to cut enter on the keyboard and then paste it down here but i'm going to interchange the position so that I'll, I'll, I'll read it first december instead of december first okay so okay you position it light uh, nicely make sure it aligns with the name and then i'm going to change this one uh, i'm going to remove the fill totally and I'm going to add the st a stroke. And the stroke, I'm going to use five. And I think it's okay. Okay. And then select the ST and head over to the character panel. If your character panel is not showing, head over to the Windows panel and make sure that character is checked. And then you can see that it will show over here. Then as the st is selected this is a super script and this is a sub script i have a video on it on my youtube channel you can check it out i explain everything here together with everything here you can check it out i'll put the link in the description okay so if you want to do the super script we click on this one with the sub script you click on this one so i'm going to use the super script so i'll click on this one and then i will close the tab like this and then click on the check mark i think it's okay click on this place as well we position it very well uh, in the middle of the December, yeah, you can also select them and then you make sure that they are um, horizontally centered, that's vertically centered, rather. That's good, okay, okay. So, before then, let's group the name separately from the date. So, we select the first that the triangle that we drew, and then the name, and then control G to group, and then call it name enter let me see what layer is this oh no let me add it to the name we'll put it like this and then for the third zima let's also group it Control g to group and then double click name it date enter on the keyboard that's great so we'll put it on top like this that's great so we are now heading towards the message and for the message i have already um, written it here i'll just copy it like this Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. So I'll select the test tool T for the test tool, or you can click on the test tool like this. 
and you get it right here so control v to paste that's good but we're not going to use this settings change it so change it to 18 and then oh uh, yeah think that no we are not going to use the bold weights so we are going to use the medium weight um thing is good position it to align with the happy yeah i think it's good to add a confetti let's open the background and then let's select the shape that we drew go to file place embedded i have a link in the description to download the confetti and then position it very well uh, yeah control minus zoom out control t to transform it a little bit to fill up the entire canvas position it well and if you see that some is interfering with the text and other things what you do is that you right click on it and then you rasterize the layer first and then you select any of the lasso tools i'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and then let me say if this is interfering let me pick a very typical example if this is interfering with the text i'll, I'll select it like this so oh let me zoom in and see what i'm doing very well Control d i'm going to do it again so i'll select it like this double click right click on it and then layer via cut that's good have it over here select the move to and then i'll shift it here that's great Control o to zoom out i think it is perfect so i'm going to add another picture of himself in the background place embedded and then there's a picture Control minus minus to zoom out we get a perfect result okay that's great position it somewhere here enter on the keyboard and then hold that's press and hold on alt on the keyboard and then bring the mouse pointer in between these layers and then if you see the icon this icon like this click on it and the clipping mask will work for you that's the shortcut for the clipping mask okay so select the one that you just brought in and reduce the opacity so five and three um to 30 no 25 that's good 25 capacity is good control o you can do a whole lot of the touches a whole lot of adjustment to the designs if you want to learn how to create a very beautiful church flyer with a solid background click the video on the screen until next time quench not your creativity peace